Mr. Speaker, I rise uh, this morning uh, to recognize the month of November as National Diabetes Awareness Month. Uh, it is observed every year in November to raise awareness of diabetes across America. But I'm here to tell you, Mr. Speaker, diabetes is a 365-day, 24-hour-a-day, seven-days-a-week disease that kids, adults that deal with the disease have to attend to it. Mr. Speaker, how do I know that? Well, this is personal to me. Uh, my son, Will, was diagnosed at age four with type 1 diabetes. He is 13 now, Mr. Speaker, and he's growing up with this disease, and I can tell you, that we get up every night, my wife in particular, as I stay down here in Washington, D.C., still monitor his blood sugar by poking his fingers and taking his blood at 2 o'clock in the morning every time he eats just to see where his sugars are going to be. This is a disease that has not been cured, but I tell you, I am confident, Mr. Speaker, that we will find a cure. We need to find a cure. We work in our household with the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, JDRF. It is a great organization that dedicates a vast, significant majority of its funds to research for a cure for type 1 diabetes. Just last week, Mr. Speaker, at a town hall that I held in Fayette, New York, back in upstate New York, I had a young lady, five years old, come and speak before us and talk about diabetes and how it impacts her since she was diagnosed at the age of three. This is a disease, Mr. Speaker, that we have the ability to find a cure, and we need to work together in a bipartisan basis. I am vice chair of the Congressional Diabetes Caucus. It is the largest caucus here in Washington, D.C. And the focus on education and awareness of diabetes cannot just occur in November, but it must occur every day. I urge everyone to be aware of the risk factors and discuss your individual risks with your doctor, your health care provider. And my heartfelt thanks go out to all the providers and the parents and the caregivers of each and every person associated with somebody with this disease. Working together, my son Will, in his lifetime, will have a cure and won't have to deal with this disease every day. So please take a moment, recognize this disease, and in November in particular, be aware of what diabetes is all about. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I yield back. The gentleman yields back.